We need our men to step up again. Right. All the other nations see us as a joke. They see us as entertainment. They don't take us serious. Because you talk about nothing serious. You say, oh, that's too heavy for us. Meanwhile, they're making sure they get nine figures from the federal government. Right. Hundred and some million dollars to take care of what they need to take care of. Because someone in their community is serious about the needs of the people. Read that. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong therefore and show thyself a man. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgment and his testimony and is it written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. Right. So the Bible says when you stand up as a man, you are to keep the commandments of God. Let me ask you a question. Amen. Who's this right here? Who's this? Who's that? Um, Who's that? Jesus. That's Jesus, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Where'd you learn, where'd you learn that about? Uh, Is that in the Bible? Have you ever read that? Uh, YouTube. YouTube, right, right. That's an honest answer. That's an honest answer, right? A lot of people get their information from the internet. But a lot of times, we don't take the time to actually read the Bible, right? So what I'm going to share with you real quick since you stopped, right, is I'm going to show you that that image is a complete lie. Right. Like completely a lie. And it's nowhere in the Bible, right? So I'm going to show that to you real quick since you stopped. I'm going to share it with you. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So if you think of the word revelation, think of the word revelation. You know the root word in revelation? It means reveal. Right? That's what a revelation is. It's a revealing. Right? You following? All right? Don't worry about them. They, they just, I, I want you to stay with me. I want you to get it. Right? Because I'm going to ask you a question at the end. I'm going to see if you're following. I know, I know you are, though. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we're describing Jesus Christ. We're revealing him. And it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Does he have white woolly hair? Uh, no. No, not at all, huh? Whoa, so, strike one, right? And what the Bible actually says, right? You, you pin it up, but most people think that's what he looks like. Strike one. Yeah. That's strike one, there you go. Let's keep on, let's keep on. His head and his hair were white like wool. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what race of people have woolly hair in the earth today? The uh, the white man. Woolly, this is a white man right here. Oh. This is a white man right here, oh. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, does he have woolly hair? You said no already, now you're saying yeah? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, don't get confused on me. All right, follow me. So the white man does not have woolly hair. Have you ever seen sheep's wool? Yeah. Okay, now let me ask you again. What race of people on the earth have woolly hair? You don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't. Any keep reading, we'll come back to that, all right? Right? Remember John 7, 38, folks. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. My man, what color is fine brass? Do you know? You know what? It's gold, right? Brass. Brass. Fine brass is gold, right? Now watch this. Watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So if you take brass and you burn it, what color does it become? Brown. Brown. So, you know that fine brass is brown. You know that he doesn't have fine brass hair. Neither is it woolly, right? So we're describing Jesus Christ. The Bible just described him as a brown-skinned man with woolly hair. Yeah. Hey, do you believe in Christianity? Do you believe in Christianity? Are you Christian? No beliefs? What is that? Hindu? Right? Okay, all right. Well, I mean, the other nations have that. They have the freedom to do that. But what we're doing to the children of Israel, we our God is the God of the Bible. Right. Right? So what we do is we try and find our God who looks like us. But what has happened over time is this image right here, right, has been used to confuse a lot of the people on the earth. Whereas you... You yourself said you didn't believe in religion, but yet you thought that was Jesus. And you don't even believe in religion. How crazy is that? So you've been duped and fooled and bamboozled like the rest of the earth 
by the white man. You worship the white man too, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, so let's go back to uh, what we was going. One more time. Feet and feet burn first. Read that. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So you take that brass and you burn it. So Jesus the Christ was a very, very dark skinned black man. Because if you look at Negro features, we are the ones with woolly hair. Woolly hair. Woolly by definition is coarse, it is kinky. It is curly, right? Um, you might have heard the term nappy before, right? It was used derogatory. Yeah, you, it was used derogatory, but now we know that Jesus Christ had nappy hair. Right. So now we understand that the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the best man that ever lived, right, above all the nations on the earth, was a black man with nappy hair. So it gives us a sense of pride when we know that the Bible actually says those things. That's what the Bible says, right? And we understand that all the nations are not going to agree with it, right? Right? Because it's not for them. Because think about it. Think about it. I want you to just think about it. I know, I know, you, to, I know you know how to deduce things. Right? So, watch this. Jesus Christ is a black man. Right? With woolly hair. And then, in his book, he says that his people are going to go into slavery. Because they said, no, no, no. no. Wait, wait, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Wait, wait. Okay. There you go. If Jesus Christ, in the Bible, is described as a black man, which we just read. Right? Which you agree with, because you said, no, no, why are you going over there? You just trying to show everybody? Okay. But you but you're we're having a conversation, so if you want everybody to understand what's going on, keep it on me. Don't you don't have to get the whole camp, right? I, I I see you trying to get everybody, right? But I want you to see this. If Jesus Christ is described as a black man, which you admit yourself, right? You're taking the pictures? Alright? We know it's not him. And we say in the future that his people are going to go into slavery by way of slave ships. And a lot of bad things are going to happen to them, right? That we know in history, right? Uh, you heard of the Ming, the Tang, and the Song dynasties in China? Right? If you know any history, they also had Kunlun slaves. Kunlun slaves. Right? So it's a lot of, no, don't turn it down. Don't turn it down. Don't turn it down. Come back. Come back. So they also had slavery too. They're slaves too, right? We, we know about all the nations, right? No one's hitting in here. So they had slaves too. So I want you to think about that black God when he returns and all the nations have done this to his people. What do you think he's going to, how do you think he's going to feel against all those nations? How do you think, and he's going to be God again. So let me ask you, how, what do you think is going to happen to all these nations that did these things to his people? Well, let me ask you this. You understand what fair means, right? Equality, justice. So if I do something to you and I steal from you and you take me to the judge, right? What is he going to force me to do if I'm found guilty of stealing from you? Bring it out. The clink, maybe, maybe that's part of it. But what if it's what if it's just I stole a thousand dollars worth of stuff? What do you think he'll do? No, no, not for a thousand dollars. What do you think? Tap on the road. What does that look like though? Do I have to pay you back? It's called restitution. Yes, I do. It's called restitution. All right? It's called restitution. So when someone steals something and they're found guilty of theft, they have to repay back that thing which they stole. Right. Right? So we just showed, and I'm explaining to you how all the other nations, the white man, the Chinese man, the Japanese man, the Polynesian man, right? All of them have that at some point in history had the Israelites in slavery. Right. But you didn't call them Israelites when you had them in slavery. They were known as Skunlin, they were known as Ab, they were known as African Americans, they were known as black people. But God says when he returns, his people that have returned back to him and keep his commandments, guess what they're going to have? Restitution. Right. Right. Right? That's going to happen. That's in the Bible. Give me that in Revelation 2. You already there? Read that. No, no. Read 13 first and then we'll get to This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear to hear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's called fair. Right. That's called fair. Right? So whatever was done to us, right, when Christ returns, he says, you're going to now do it back to them. That's what the whole Bible's about. 
Now, I know you said you don't believe in the Bible, but you stopped, right? You were curious, want to take some pictures, right? You filmed everybody, filmed where we were. So I just wanted to make sure that you understood what it is that we're teaching. We're showing our people, the people that, you know, you, a, lot of, a lot of people here think are funny, right? Or jokes, and we're cool. And, I don't think it's funny. No, no, not, not saying you. Not saying you specifically. I, I said here in Hawaii. I said here in Hawaii, right? So I'm talking here in Hawaii as in, 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 in whole, right? Now, you come from a different generation. You're probably younger than me, but I've been here quite a while, right? And I know for a fact that black people are kind of seen as the jokesters, they're the fun ones, they're the cool ones. You know, you want to invite them to the party so that the, the party has that vibe, right? So you can play some hip-hop music and not feel so bad about all the niggas in the words. My best right? is black. Oh, there you go. Your best friend is black. You all right. So, right, so, so here's the thing. That black best friend, I hope that you, now being his best friend, right? You said he's your best friend, right? You already got everybody. You already got everybody. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right? He's really trying to get pictures of everybody. All right? Um, so, uh... I hope you're gonna give that to your best friend. Oh, so yeah, still my best friend. Okay, so make sure he knows that the Israelites are in Hawaii. Right. right. Make sure he knows that his brothers are here in Hawaii. Can I call him a FaceTime? You can do whatever you like. This is your best friend. He's a black man, right? He looks like Soldier Boy. Okay. So it's very important that, that your friend who looks like Soldier Boy knows that he's the greatest thing that God ever created. Right. It's very important that you know your friend. Say that one more time. It's very important. That your friend, who looks like Soldier Boy, knows that God says he is the best thing he ever created. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Now, if you subscribe to other forms of religion and doctrines, they're not going to tell you that. Right. They're, they're going to be okay with your current condition. Especially here in Hawaii, right? It's very important that you let your, your, your best friend know that he should get with his people. You know why? Are you Chinese? Okay, you're Chinese, and we're right outside of Chinatown, right? So there's a sense of ownership, pride, right? Culture, right? Of your people. Where is the sense of pride, ownership, and culture for your best friend? Where is it? Where? Hawaii? So you think he's Hawaiian? I uh, know he's not. He's not Hawaiian, but you see, the culture that he subscribes to is Hawaiian, and he's not Hawaiian. You know how messed up that is? Are you born and raised here? Then how come you understand Chinatown? You understand the culture, the heritage, the pride of having a Chinatown, but you say the black man, his culture is Hawaiian. You see, that, that doesn't make any sense, right? So these are the things that we're trying to educate our people on. So hopefully, you'll tell your best friend to go to IsraelUnite.org and make sure he checks out his brothers. Israelunite.org. All right? It's very important because being here, especially if he's born and raised here, it's very important because we know for a fact they do not teach any black history worth knowing. Right. We know for a fact he's not going to learn anything about his people out here. Let me ask you this question real quick. Let me ask you this question. Do you, have you ever heard of Anthony D. Allen? Anthony D. Allen. Have you ever heard of him? I don't know Anthony. Huh? Anthony. Anthony D. Allen. Never heard of him? Ask your best friend if he's ever heard of Anthony D. Allen. Anthony D. Allen. What'd he say? No? That doesn't look like Soldier Boy from here. Didn't look like Soldier Boy at all. Oh, okay, yeah. So, that that's a deception. That's a deception, right? Deception. Hey, we're used to it all, though. Yep. Right? All the nations are liars. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and read this. Uh, what, what was we at? Uh, 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 so, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. We good. We good. All right, so the thing is, the thing is this. The thing is this. All right. It's important for all the black, so called black and Hispanic people that are on this island to not get caught up with trying to become something they're not. You said yourself as a Chinese man that maybe he's going to associate with being Hawaiian. That's not his heritage. That's not his culture. And guess what? No matter how hard he tries, he'll never be able to go get a loan from the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. He won't. All right? That won't happen. So you can tell your friend to go to IsraelUnite.org. IsraelUnite.org. Just to get in that can. 
IsraelUnite.org, all right? And he can learn more about his heritage that is found in the Bible. Not the white man's book. How do we know? How do, how do we know it's not the white man's book? We read something earlier about the most important figure in the whole Bible. What color was he? Tell me who it was and what color was he? Who? Who? Who's black? Jesus is black. That's exactly right. Oh, you put your phone away in the most important part. That's all good. All right? One more time. One more time. No, you, yeah, one more time. You said it. We're going to read. We're gonna, I want you to tell me. Oh, this is a question for you. For me? Yes. The most important man in the Bible, Jesus Christ. What color does the Bible say he was? Ah, uh, you see that? You see that? Everybody saw that, right? He said black when he was off camera, and now it's white on camera, right? Because he's a liar like all the other nations. Bring it out! Right? Give me Psalms 83, right? We know your stance, bro. It's all good. You weren't curious. You're trying to film us, see where we're at, how many of us, what corner we're on, and send it out to everybody. But you're old. You're, you're not nothing new. Come on. Yeah, we do got you. We got your number completely. Now you're going to go drive off. Read that. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. one. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. They that hate thee have lifted up their head. We just read clearly Jesus the Christ was a black man. This man understood it clearly that he was a black man. Get on camera, his spirit won't let him say it. I can't say it, even though I know it's true. I need to acknowledge the white man as God, but I don't believe in any religion. But I need to acknowledge the white man is God. Right. That's the other nations for you. Work them on. Three. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Thy people are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The crafty counsel is, I'm not going to tell you who you truly are. I'm going to lie to you and make sure I keep you in my pocket. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what the other nations want to do. Cut us off from being a nation. Cut us off from being a nation. To what end? Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance that you no longer know you are the children of Israel and that your Messiah is a black man. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.